Hi, I'm Johnny Shannon, CEO of Gamify. And in this video, we're gonna be going over how to plan out your Gamify marketing calendar. A marketing calendar is exactly what it sounds like, a plan that covers your marketing activities for the duration of the campaign. Having a plan in place that outlines your marketing activities in the lead up to the campaign ensures that the steady stream of promotion enters the market, keeping you in the minds of your current customers while also bringing in new ones. There are three major keys to a successful marketing calendar. Number one, consistency. Posting promotional ads consistently is the key to keeping your brand front of mind and gaining momentum with your game. The key to gaining this momentum is figuring out what the best time to post is. To find this, we need to ask, when is your audience online the most? Go ahead and find out when your audience is most active on social media. Your Facebook or Instagram business accounts analytics contain this information quite easily. If you're gathered that your highest performing posts are on Mondays and Fridays, set your campaign to post and engage with your followers at that time. Number two, unique posts. The major key to your audience not getting bored is to post on a regular basis, but with different content each time. Let's imagine you have a six week campaign. You now know the day and times your audience is online and you're committed to post about it twice a week and mention it in your Instagram and your Facebook stories twice a week as well. That means you have a minimum of 12 posts and 12 story mentions. Having a slight structure to your posts can help you come up with ideas faster. Let's say you rotate between two post ideas. The first post could be about the game itself. Next, a story mention, which could be something funny that relates to the game. The third could be the leaders board and current winners and prizes coming up. Or you can have a surprise leaderboard post where a new high score has been set, creating a challenge to all your players. Number three, key platforms. Knowing what social platforms your customers are on and why is key to posting the right messages for the correct social streams. The way you promote a game on Facebook and Instagram is gonna be different than the way you promote through LinkedIn and Twitter. Instagram and Facebook is more about social connections, so the ad, picture or video posts should promote the idea that you can compete against each other, have fun and share your experiences or high scores easily. LinkedIn revolves around business networking, so ideally your post should mention why your business chose a gamification campaign with a link for others to play as well. Twitter can be used to quickly highlight a statement or link a game. Your post can be similar across all platforms but formatted and timed to maximize its exposure. Color coding the platforms on your calendar according to when you're going to post will help you plan and time your post successfully. For instance, Facebook might be blue, LinkedIn red, Instagram purple and so on. This will help maximize your reach and keep your campaign front of mind. In summary, it's important to have a campaign timeline and a minimum of three color-coded and personalized posts per week. Here's some extra information for you. Double down on what's working. Set a time to review your campaign. After two or three weeks, you should have a really good idea on what platform is getting the best results. You may find that Facebook is outworking or better than Instagram or LinkedIn is getting more traction than everything else put together. Create posts similar to your highest performing ones and then allocate more funds to them. The last three to four weeks of your campaign is usually when you get around 80 plus percent of your engagement. We've created thousands of games here at Gamify and often the difference between a good campaign and a great campaign is having a pre-planned out marketing calendar. While you're putting marketing calendars together, here are some questions that can help you come up with some additional ideas. Questions like, who is your audience? Do you want them to engage, promote, or redeem prizes? How frequently will you promote your campaign? What types of media will you use? Which social platforms are best suited? What resources do you have on hand to enhance your campaign? Do you have prizes you can give out? Are there people in your company that would be great at promoting this? Mapping content on a calendar. Your content calendar should contain the name of the project, project live date, posting dates and times, social platform color codes, accountability list, i.e. who's in charge of what. Your campaign cycle should consist of three steps, plan, launch, and promote. If you haven't gathered by now, good marketing it is 80% research and planning. Like Benjamin Franklin said, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Proverbs 29.18 also says, without a vision, people perish. Launch. Once your timeline is established, the campaign is ready to go live. Promote. With the campaign running, the designated content is ready to be promoted across all allocated streams. And remember to double down on what's working best. Once you're on the other side of your campaign and the marketing calendar is complete, make sure to review your results. 
whether or not you are successful is good information to be kept and recorded in order to review it back to future campaigns. This will help you map out with ease in the future on what works and what needs to be changed. Thanks for watching our video series on gamification marketing. Take a look at our other video series led by Dr. Zach Fitzwalter on the origins and theory of gamification and its uses in the industry right now.